Vaigur Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaigur Ji Ki Fateh, welcome back to a new video. My name is Manith Paul Singh. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create a daily journaling system in Notion. Earlier this year, I was desperately searching for a way to create a system that would organize my life. And luckily, I stumbled upon this app called Notion. Notion can be used for literally any type or productivity system you can think of. And when just starting out, all the features can be super overwhelming. However, in this video, I'll be showing you step by step exactly how I created my system so you can make your own personal version of it. So if you're interested in learning how to create a powerful daily journaling system in Notion so you can better keep track of your life, keep on watching. All right, to get started, we're gonna open up Notion now, create a blank page, and we're gonna call this databases. And with the cool thing with Notion is you can create icons for each page that you make. So I'm gonna just add a random icon. Um, we will just scroll through the emoji list over here. And let's make this database page I don't know, a unicorn. Let's do that for this one, okay. So now that we have our main database page made, we're gonna include two databases inside of this. Now databases are the core foundation to Notion. You can store so much stuff in databases and it's really like the foundation piece of everything you do here. I'm gonna show you a practical example for daily journaling, but you can literally do anything you want with databases. Instead of just making one database for every single day of the year, I'm actually gonna make two other ones on top of that. The first one will be a quarterly database to keep track of every quarter in the year, and the second one will be a weekly database to keep track of every week. This will be much more helpful later on when we wanna analyze our data. So the first one we'll make is for the quarterly database. To do this now, we're gonna go into the blank page that we made, and we're gonna do slash table. And we're gonna do an inline table, and the table is our database. I'm gonna name this quarters and I'll change the first field from name to quarters. And I'm gonna delete the other two fields for tags and files. We don't need these right now. I am gonna add one column though for date. Let's name this date. And we'll change this property type to date. And we'll add one here for right now, which is 2020 Q4. And I'm gonna change the date from October 1st and an end date of December 31st. And we'll go into the page that we just made, and I'm gonna add an icon just for fun because I wanna have some imagery. Um, let's make this a globe. And now we have our first entry in our database. The next thing we'll do now is create a second inline database for the weeks. So we'll click at the bottom of this. We'll do another slash table inline. We'll name this one weeks. And I'm gonna change the name to this for weeks. Same thing as before, we'll delete the other two pre-populated properties. And we're also gonna add, similarly, a date property. As I'm filming this, we're currently in week 41 of the year. So I'm gonna add a entry here for week 41. And I will change the date from Monday the 12th with an end date of the 18th. I like doing this by Monday as the first day of the week. Normally I would do Sunday, but for work purposes, I like having Monday as my first day. And similarly, as a quarters, I am going to change this to a new icon. Let's do like a sunflower or something, something nice. Now we have our first entry created, but I wanna do one more thing. I want the week to be associated with the quarter. So week 41 is part of Q4 2020. So what I'll do now is add a new column, and this time I'm gonna create a relation. And this relation, is gonna go to quarters. You'll see I have other databases already there for my personal one, but this is the one that we just made. So now we have a new column here for the quarter relation. And I'm just gonna name this quarter. And now if I click on this entry piece over here, the Q4 2020 option comes up. And we'll click on that. And you'll see now on the top for quarters, it's recognizing that week 41 is part of Q4 2020. And just to clean things up, I'll move this over here, make this a little smaller, we'll make this a little smaller. And now we have our two databases started off. Now that we got our quarterly and weekly databases all set, I'm gonna create the actual database for our daily journal. And instead of making another inline database, what we'll do for this one is create a dedicated page for that journal. To do this as a full page, what we're gonna do now is do slash table, but this time we'll do table full page. And when we do this, a whole new page comes up just for this database. And we're gonna name this daily journal. 
And what I'm also gonna do is add an icon and there's a cool icon that I like to use for the journal. If you type in notebook in the search, you'll find this cool black and white one. I've always used this as a journal growing up in school. So I'm just gonna stick with that for this one as well. And now that we have our full page database made, we can start adding in some properties. The first thing we're gonna do is change the name section over here to be date. And we'll actually be typing in this date. And the next one we're gonna do is delete these two like we have been for the other ones. And the next thing I'm gonna do is relate this to the weekly database. So I'm gonna do over here, go to week, or sorry, go to relation and then type in week, weeks over here. And now we can name this to week. And the next thing I'm gonna do is something called a roll up. I wanna be able to see which quarter we're in for the day that we're on as well, but I don't wanna to have to type that in manually. So if I do a roll up, I can actually go into the week database and pick something that's already in one of those fields. So you'll see what I mean by that. If I go to configure roll up, I'm gonna choose the week relation that we just made a second ago, and now I can choose a property. And these are the properties that are within the weekly database, and I'm gonna actually choose quarter. And now it'll recognize the quarter for the week that I choose. So if I choose the week, it'll automatically populate the quarter with that week. So let's try this out. I'm gonna change this to quarter, and I'm gonna add just for a sample here, today is October 16th, and then I'm gonna choose the week 41, and you'll see the new quarter automatically gets connected to that. So at this point, it's completely up to you which properties that you wanna to add to your daily journal. These are the things that you'll be tracking every single day. Let me show you some of the ones that I do in my personal journal. The first one I'm gonna add is something called a multi-select option. So we'll do this right now. We'll change this to multi-select, and I'm actually gonna call this words. And what I like to do every single day is sum up my day in a few different words. So we'll make some options right now while we're here. I'm gonna do good day, I'll do productive, I'll do busy, I'll do challenging, and I'll do amazing. Just for example purposes, these are the options that we can choose from on our daily journal. And right now I'm just gonna delete all of these so they're not associated with October 16th, but we can choose from these options or we can always add more options later on. The next property I'm gonna add is for my Nithnam. I like to track which Bonnies I read every single day. So we'll add a new property and just like the words one, we're gonna do a multi-select and I'm gonna name this Nithnam. And what I'm gonna do here is put in a few different options. So Japji Saib, Jop Saib, Dolprasad Sviye, Jope Saib, and Anand Saib. Now every day when I do my Nithnam, I can make sure I put in all the bonnies that I read that morning. So right now, again, I'm gonna delete these from October 16th, so we have a fresh start. Now that I've added all my bonnies for the Nithnam, I could also add additional bonnies that I might be reading during the day, like Sukhmuni Saib, Asa Diva, or anything else. You can add whatever you want to this list. But now every day when I fill out my journal, I can select which bonnies I read from this list. The next property I'm gonna add is for Sajbot. I like to track the days that I read Sajbot, and this is actually a very cool option. I'm gonna click the plus button and change this to a simple checkbox. And I can name this Sajbot, and I'm even gonna go ahead and add a little emoji, the Hat Jorke emoji, you know, and then have that there. And now when I read my Sajbot in my journal, I just check that off for the day. The next two that I like to have in my journal is my lunch and dinner, just for keeping track of what I'm eating every day. Um, I like doing this as a select option. So as I eat different foods, this list will grow over time, but I often find myself eating the same things over time. So I'm often just going back in the select menu and choosing something I've already eaten in the past. The next option I'm gonna add is something really, really cool. I have a database for all the books I'm currently reading. So I'm actually gonna create another relation over here to my books database. And if I go here and type in books to my bookshelf and create relation, I can go ahead and choose a book that I am currently reading. So right now I'm reading Think Like a Monk and that's something that I wanna keep track of for that day. The last two options I'm gonna to add to my daily journal are for my productivity and my happiness. And let me show you what I mean by that. We're gonna to go to the plus button and we're gonna add a number. And this is gonna be my productivity. Say I see myself being productive today, I'm gonna to give myself a 90% productive, I was 90% productive today. I'm gonna go ahead and type in 90, and we can actually go ahead and format this to a percent. 
and we're gonna change that to 90%. And I'm gonna add one more for happiness. And same thing, I feel like I was really, really happy today, really good mood. I'm gonna rate this also a 90% and change that to a percentage. This will be very useful later on, but I wanna keep track of this every single day so I can see over time what my levels are for productivity and happiness. Now that we've added all of our properties, we're not quite done yet. I also wanna be able to add open-ended text, things like things I've accomplished during the day, my struggles for the day, even a photo or something like that, or my gratefulness log. I wanna be able to track all of that stuff every single day as if I was writing in a physical book. So let's do that right now. The way we create a new template for our daily journal is by going to the new menu and then creating a new template over here. And we'll name this date because I'm actually gonna replace this every single day with today's date. And then I'm gonna rearrange some of the properties over here. These are all the properties that we just made. I'm gonna rearrange them in an order that makes a little more sense. So when I open up my template now, this is the order in which my properties will be shown to me. And I'll quickly go down the list and fill each one out. And the next thing I wanna do now is go to the bottom where the open-ended text field is. And Notion actually has a cool way to embed photos. I'm gonna do slash image, and it'll give me an option for image embed. And now I can quickly upload an image in my daily journal every single day without having to add this every single time. The next thing I'm gonna add is for my daily accomplishments. So if we click down here and do slash H1 for heading, name this daily accomplishments. And I'm actually also gonna add an emoji for, let's do a check mark, we'll search for a check mark. And I'm also gonna change the color of this just so it looks a little bit more appealing. Let's do a blue color. And I'll do the same thing now for a few more options. I'll do struggles. And I'll do gratefulness. The last thing I'm gonna do is actually add a numbered list below each heading. The purpose of that is so when I add my daily entries, it's formatted nice and neat. I wanna make this as painless as possible for when I actually use it every single day. The last thing I'm gonna do for my template is something I forgot to do at the beginning of this, is just add an icon to the template. So we'll change this to another notebook icon so we have a nice cool little visual reminder there. And now that we've created this, the template is all done. So we can create a new page now with this template. Let's create a new page and we're gonna choose the date template that we just made and I'm gonna name this October 16th. You'll see the icon already comes up and I'm gonna choose the week that we're currently in and the quarter automatically comes up and I could choose some words for what we did today and how I feel. I can choose all my Nithinam Bonnies and so on and so forth. So what I'm gonna do now is I'll create a few sample entries and we can see how this looks like after we have several entries added. All right, I've added some sample data into our database and I'm gonna do a few more things now. The first thing I'm gonna do is change this to a gallery view because this looks very boring to look at. Let's change this to a gallery view. And if we do a gallery view, this will look much more neat. All the pictures come up. It looks much more beautiful. I actually wanna look at this and add more to it. And on the phone, this is much easier to add entries to and much more visually appealing. But the cool part now is I'm gonna go back into my weekly database and add a few more properties there. Let's go do that right now. So you'll see here now in the week database for week 41, all the entries for those days are now linked to that week. But what I could do now is add the plus button and I'm gonna actually do one more roll up. And I'm gonna do a roll up and we're gonna call this productivity. And if you can't see where I'm going yet, check this out. I'm gonna configure this roll up. I'm gonna choose the related daily journal entries and I'm gonna change the property to productivity. And I can do an average of all the productivity values I had for that week. And now I can see I was 48% productive during this week. And I could do the same thing for happiness, but I could also do it for something like SagePot. Let's do another roll up. We'll go to the bottom over here and we'll do a configure for SagePot. And now it'll show me all the percentage of the checked one. So I checked SagePot 80% of the time for that week. This is so, so powerful. I can track week over week how productive I was, how happy I was, how much bot I was doing. So much insight just by daily journaling and keeping track of these metrics. So that is it for my daily journaling system. I've been trying super hard to be consistent about this for the past few months. Being able to track my productivity, my happiness, and all the other small things over a long period of time has given 
giving me so much insight. And just going back and rereading some of my old entries is such an awesome way to reflect on your year and on all your days. Thanks so much for watching. If you found this video useful, please leave a comment down below letting me know. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, Gurji ka khalsa. Bye, Gurji ki fateh.